Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in this week. I wanted to take this opportunity and talk about something I touched on in last week's video all about Joe the Scammer. I briefly talked about a couple of law, local law firms that were impacted by ransomware. Not only were they impacted, they were actually down for a couple of weeks because what happened was once the ransomware got in, it stole their data, encrypted their files, and it actually impacted their backups. So I want to talk about backups. I thought this was a cybersecurity vlog. Why are we talking about backups? Because backups are your last line of recovery. I know you've implemented all the things we've talked about in the past, email security, network security, making sure all your updates are done, your local security, but should you get impacted and should they still get in, you need to be able to recover. And there's some really key items in talking about recovery. The article also mentioned that because the law firm's cloud backups were impacted, they weren't able to recover in a timely manner. So here's a couple of really great guidelines. First off, store your, don't store your backups in a place where your staff can get to them. Because if your staff can get to them, if they get infiltrated and compromised, then the hackers will have access to them. Secondly, you want to make sure that those backups are automated. You never want to have, leave backups to a manual process because human nature, you know, we put it off, other things come up. It doesn't seem important at the time until you need to recover. Next, the cloud backups. That article mentioned that, again, that their cloud backups were impacted. Now, I don't know the exact scenario that happened with that company, but I know a lot of companies rely on services like OneDrive, Dropbox, Google Drive, in order to back up their data. Those are not backup solutions. Those are file synchronization solutions, which on the surface might appear to do something similar, but because they basically replicate any of the changes that happen, if they get hit by ransomware, it's just going to replicate that ransomware files, those encrypted files. And recovering from those systems can be slow or essentially non-existent. There are solutions out there that, are, that combine all of these awesome features, automated, remote, and secure. Lastly, your ability to recover is so key and the amount of time it takes to recover. You need to understand how long you can go without having access to your data before you start impacting things like your bottom line, your customers, your staff, your business in general. You don't want to be going under because you can't recover fast enough. There are solutions now that can actually recover from the worst ransomware in as little as two hours. So if that's what you need, if you're an accounting firm, a law firm, any kind of a company that relies strictly on your data, there are solutions for you. If you're a manufacturer and maybe it isn't quite you know, as time sensitive, they can, you can go a day or so while you still manufacture your product before you start impacting customers, there's a solution for you too. Make sure you can recover, protect yourself, and stay safe out there.